imagine this scenario. You've invested many years and lots of blood, sweat and tears into mastering your trade. Think just how valuable those skills have become, not just for getting the job done on a daily basis, but you're being able to provide for you, your family, both today and long in the future. When you look at it like this, it's no wonder why so many plasterers, tapers and fixers just like you are so keen to ensure that your skills are not only in line with the latest techniques, but you're also aware of new trends that could have an impact on your industry. For the first time, we're giving you access to the knowledge and expertise of some of the most experienced trade professionals in the UK, so that you can compare ideas and learn new skills to help unlock your potential to earn more and work less using automatic taping tools. I'm Callum Wilson and I've been managing the direction of gypsum tools for the last few years and making it my mission to help thousands of professionals like you to unlock the ability to increase their productivity using the very latest plastering and dry lining tools and techniques around today. We work with some of the biggest plastering and dry lining brands such as Level 5, North Star, Flex, Nella and Marshalltown. We have built our reputation as the fastest growing supplier of tools in the country and even worldwide. Congratulations for joining me today for this series and for taking control of your future success and financial security. Thanks for joining me and just before we get started I want to ask a couple of things. First I'd recommend that you turn off any distractions so that you can focus fully on what I'm sharing with you today and secondly keep a positive and open mind as to what we're going to be teaching. Many plasters and tapers that we talk to on a daily basis have already made their mind upon how things should be done and the way that the industry is going. But I'd urge you to keep watching as there's opportunities for improvement for everybody, I can assure you. We've put this series together so that we can help Gypsum Tools customers and subscribers including tapers and plasters to get an advantage on the rest of the competition out there. So before we get started, I just want to outline exactly what you can expect to learn from this video. Firstly, you're going to learn how our industry is set to change over the next 10 years and how you can protect and enhance your skills to be ready for change as and when it happens. Secondly, keep watching right until the end as I'm going to share with you exactly how we prove that you could literally halve the time you spend working by using the right equipment. So let's get started. I just want to begin by covering some of the basics so that you're completely up to speed. In modern construction and in particular for new houses or commercial buildings in the UK pretty much all internal walls are plastered or dry lined. These boards are used because they're strong, cheap to make and quick to install. Boards are fixed to studs in order to make nice neat internal walls which form your individual rooms and help to insulate and soundproof from your external walls. In order to get these walls in position to neatly finish and paint, we need to make sure there's no gaps and everything is completely smooth, ready for the first coat. Now comes the interesting bit, because in the UK there's two popular ways, and depending on which region of Britain you live in, really often denotes of which these two techniques are most likely be undertaken. In the blue corner we have the skimmer. This is what most people would call a traditional plasterer. They fix the boards to the walls and then apply layers of plaster. They use well refined skills to ensure that the plaster is applied completely smoothly and ready for the painter. In the red corner we have the taper. The taper does exactly what it says on the tin. They use tape and compound to join the wall and ceiling boards and then smooth over the joints. So what's the difference in the two and why are they fighting? Once upon a time in a world not so long ago. Right, let's cut to the chase. The skimmer. The skimmer or the plasterer is a craftsman, highly skilled. And with his trowel and spatula, he can achieve a finish as smooth as a baby's bum. It's taken him many painstaking years to perfect his skills and there's no way that he'd be happy to do it any other way. The taper. Taping and jointing is on the increase in the UK. And the taper is an opportunist who takes advantage of industry trends. He impresses developers with the speed of which he can complete new houses and commercial projects. His aim is to get the job done quickly but still with a perfect smooth finish. Although many consider the tape to be less skilled than the skimmer, it's not as easy as most people imagine, especially if you're proud of your finish. The skimmer has never really gotten with the taper. Is it because he undermines his skills or simply because he's taking his work? But more importantly, who wins? 
Keep watching until the end when I'll reveal more. On a more serious note, we've put this series together to help you to earn more and work less. And for this, I'm going to need the help of our resident taping expert, Mick Allen. Mick Allen has been taping and jointing for over 35 years, which pretty much makes him one of the most experienced tapers in the country. He works in the Scarborough region and has perfected his trade working for some of the large developers in the UK. Well, using a taping, a taping kit puts you at an advantage because everything is done so much quicker and you can get through so much more work. It just seems totally silly not to use them. Can we really expect to see a rise in people doing taping over the next 10 years? Taping is here to stay. Even though many plasterers have tried to resist or ignore its growth throughout the UK, however, there are two factors which indicate the plastering trade may look significantly different in 10 years' time. The first being the UK skills deficit. According to a recent study commissioned by CITB in June 2014, it is reported that the skills gap in the UK is still a serious concern. The financial crash of 2008 saw the biggest departure of skilled tradespeople into other more stable industries, leaving less qualified tradespeople available for work. Out of the businesses and self-employed identified as having a skills deficit, 44% have reported this having caused a negative impact, and of these people, 10% is specifically made up of plasterers. Since the economical downturn, we've certainly seen a rise in the amount of construction. However, since the to leave the EU, construction has once again slowed right down. Now, this may not be a major concern for plasterers today, but the knock-on effect happens for us two years down the line. So what does this mean? It certainly doesn't mean that everybody will be out of work, as there will always be a level of demand for our service. However, if there's so much as a 10% decrease in the available work, it means we'll see a noticeable difference in demand. Developers will need to ensure that work is done even more cost-effectively, now is the time to branch out and learn new skills to keep you ahead of the competition and protect your future. At the beginning of the video, I promised I'd prove to you how you could literally half the amount of time a job would take using the right equipment. Back over to you, Mick, to show us how much time automatic taping tools saves you over doing the same job with hand tools. So to show the difference in time that it takes to tape either by hand or with a taping system, I'm now going to mix some filler to put my first application on by hand. So I'm now going to put a tape on the wall by hand. So I get some filler out of the bucket, spread it up the joint and down the joint. in a smooth application. Get some tape. Run it down the wall and cut it off. And then bed the tape into the compound. And then use the excess to fill the groove in the tapered edge board. And clean off any excess. And to put a tape on with an auto taper, we simply start at the bottom of the joint, run it up the wall, cut the tape off, and then bed the tape into the compound that's been automatically applied to the tape by the auto taper. Done. So when using the, car the auto taper to press the corner tapes into the corner, you use this trigger which presses this wheel into the corner 
and stops the tapes from falling off. So I'm now going to put another corner tape along this internal angle. Push the lever so that the wheel is in the ceiling line. And when we get about three inches from the end, slide back, which cuts the tape. And we're done. Measure it out to the correct length. As you can see that when comparing the two techniques, Mick was able to shave 50% of time using automatic taping tools. That could be the equivalent of working two and a half days a week or getting paid for a whopping 10 days, depending on which way you look at it. So who wins when it comes to the taper or the skimmer? Well, it turns out that in reality, there really isn't a battle at all. If you're a plasturer and you're looking to protect your skill set, then surely adding the ability to tape and joint quickly and effectively will only make your skill set more valuable to both customers and employers. We're at the end of the first episode now and congratulations for making it this far. Keep watching because in the next video I'm going to share with you specifically what makes up the taping tool set and how you can get started with making them work for you. We've also got mixed free golden tips for how advanced professional tapers can save time in their day-to-day -day work. You certainly don't want to miss that. Well, thanks again for joining me in this first episode and don't forget to keep an eye out in your email inbox for the link to the second episode. Just before we finish, I'd like to ask a very quick favour. If you could just scroll down to the comments box below and let me know the single most useful piece of advice in this video and how you will be able to put it into action for yourself. Thanks again and I'll see you very soon.